Madam Chair, uh, yes, sir. Uh, I am uh, Under Secretary Faustino at the OIC of the Department of National Defense. As far for, uh, as uh, the budget for Barangay Development Program is concerned for 2023, there will be a uh, budget for it, sir. I think uh, from the uh, budget from 2022, it will be, <coughs> the, for the NEP, it will be uh, increased uh, two folds, I think, sir. Yeah. I'm not sure about the, the, the exact uh, budget, but it will be increased. Yes. Thank you, uh, your... Uh, Madam, Madam Chair, if I continue. I, I'm, I'm, hap I'm, ha I'm so happy with the, with the Barangay Development Project. But if I may request, uh, would it be possible if, uh, because last year, it was uh, the provincial government who uh, do the processing, including the bidding and implementation. In my experience as a former governor, uh, it was not really we did the absorption capacity. And because of the time frame, uh, we were able to bid it out uh, sometime on the first quarter of 2022, which is supposed to be 2021. Pa. And second quarter, na, I think, uh, prior to the election ban. And uh, we feel that uh, it's not working well because of the limitations of the capacity, uh, if I may, uh, my fellow governors who are here. In our experience, uh, it's not so, it's not good. May I request if uh, we can just transfer it to the DPWH for the proper and, and fast implementation of this Barangay Development Project, as far as AO70 is concerned. All other projects, I don't know. But uh, in my experience as uh, governor of we were not able to meet the time frame because uh, of the, you know, we have to, there are a lot of uh, concerns, especially on the, on matters on the, I, uh, what do you call this, we, it needs uh, clearance from the NCIP, the prior not, uh, prior notice, uh, what's the, uh, yeah, they, they're, that is very annoying. So it took us time to secure that uh, prior inform notice. Uh, it took us time to secure that. In fact, some projects are still hanging because of that uh, requirement. So uh, my suggestion would be to pass it to the DPWH since they are expert on this kind of uh, projects. Thank you. Thank you, Congressman Palma. Um, I would like to recognize Congresswoman Rian Sakaluran for her interpolation. Yeah, before that, can, can I hear something from, sir? Uh, any reaction to that? Uh, yes, resource persons. Uh, yes, uh, Madam Chair. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, thank you for that uh, observation. Uh, we, ha we have also heard that those uh, concerns by the local government uh, units and the local chief executives about the implementation of the Barangay Development Program. And uh, it, is, it, it is being addressed right now, sir, because uh, before we defend the budget or the, the National Task Force, LCAP, will defend the budget uh, anytime soon, uh, it, it is now being discussed and to arrange these kinks about uh, the implementation of the program, uh, as mentioned by the uh, Honorable uh, Wilter Palma, uh, your Madam Chair. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Madam thank Chair. Thank you. Congresswoman Sakaluran, you are recognized. Thank you, Madam Chair. Good morning to my colleagues and uh, focal persons. Uh, Madam Chair, I just want to ask Secretary Calvas if he was able to present the status of the decommissioning of the MILF commandants. If not, uh, maybe we could get uh, a, a numbers, uh, precise numbers, if ilan na po ba talaga ang total ng mga MILF commandants natin ang nag-surrender at ilan pa po ang natitira na we have to convince na magbalik loob. Because um, I think that's one of the most important po talaga dito sa ating peace process is malaman ilan pa po ang total na MILF commandants that are present or at nakapag-surrender na po. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, Secretary Galvez. Um, Madam, uh, yung, ano, yung uh, ano natin, the total uh, agreement that we had is uh, uh, 40,000 uh, combatants. 
as of this date, we have already uh, uh, decommissioned 19,200. 19, and we still have to decommission the 2,800. Uh, we, we did not term uh, surrender, Madam, because uh, this is uh, some sort of an agreement. So we, you know, we, we, we have it, uh, an independent decommissioning body headed by Turkey that really validates and, uh, uh, validates and also visit uh, the different camps. So we are in the process of uh, another decommissioning of uh, uh, more or less 5,000 as funded already. It's already been transferred to, you know, to the SWD, the, the socioeconomic package. And uh, for 2023, we will be uh, decommissioning another 7,000. And the remaining will be in 2024 and 2025. So rest assured that uh, the decommissioning process will uh, continue as it's been embodied by, uh, by the obligations of both parties that uh, the decommissioning uh, will, uh, will, uh, will be ended uh, through the extension. More or less, uh, our commitment is uh, it, it, will be, it will be completed by, by end of 2024. Yes, Congresswoman Sakaluyad. Um, Madam Chair, is it possible we could um, request for the list of the names of the MILF commandants to be submitted here in the Congress? That is, that is uh, uh, based on agreement, Madam. Uh, they were given uh, the, you know, the IDs, but uh, based on the agreements, uh, only the, you know, the, the panels and the, you know, the different panels are, are being given by, uh, by, the, you know, by the, the listing. Uh, the IDB is the one, uh, uh, the, the sole repository, considering the independent independ independ decommissioning body is the repository of all the documents on the decommissioning. Maybe uh, ASEC Mayor can, can answer. Um, perhaps, uh, Secretary Galvez, perhaps you can just furnish us with the numbers. If you cannot give us the list of names, the yung figures na lang siguro. If you can furnish Congresswoman Sakaluran and uh, the chair, the numbers of... Uh, yes, we will make the report, uh, including the, you know, the, those who are already uh, decommissioned, uh, how many firearms have already been uh, uh, turned, turned in. And the succeeding uh, the commissioning by faces. Madam Chair, may I interject with the indulgence of my colleague, Congresswoman? In the, this is in connection relative to the question of Congresswoman. Uh, it has already been requested by the chairperson to provide us with the list, Secretary, of the numbers. And can I also add, uh, maybe we can, you can also provide us the actual recipient of those who have already been decommissioned. Because, we, the, because in the coming days, we will be holding the budget hearing and we will be looking at and, and comparing the budget that already been lodged and has already been released to the commission officers with that of the incoming budget in the under DSWD. Uh, because that would be, again, that would, uh, number one, uh, determine the success of the decommissioning process. So if we can also request the actual recipients and how much they have received, Madam, uh, Madam Chair. Thank you. Your Honor, Thank you, uh, uh, Congresswoman Sakaluran, for giving me that. Your, your Honours, we will, we will comply. We will comply. We will submit the, you know, the, the exact figures of the, you know, the competence and the finance and also the, uh, the funds that have been released already to the individual uh, competence, including the, the services. Thank you. Uh, Congressman no. Palma. Well, Madam Chair, one, one last issue. Uh, Sambuanga Sibuga is not part of the BARM. But we do have a base commander. It's 113 base command situated in Dato Tumangong Tungawan. My question is again, uh, are they also part of the process of decommissioning and so on and so forth? Yes, sir. They are included and also included on the socioeconomic packages. So, so was there already a time that they were, uh, there was a decommissioning or because I was not informed. I left June 30 and I don't have any idea. Uh, whether there was already uh, on, on, on process na yung decommissioning? Yung uh, mag, ang ano, area pa na natin sir sa ngayon sir sa Maguindanao and uh, So wala pang Yes sir, uh, uh, the, our priority also is uh, this Yes sir, I, I would appreciate that uh, Madam Chair because uh, you know, uh, we have a good relationship as far as the people of Sambuanga, Sibugay and uh, the military in the 102nd Brigade as well as the PNP, of course, and the 113 base command. And I'm looking forward that uh, we can address the root cause, why they are there, probably uh, in, in some social economic uh, intervention that we can help our uh, brother combatants there. Thank you. 
Thank you, Congressman Palma. Yes, Secretary Galvez. Sir, uh, Madam, um, we would like to thank uh, actually uh, Honorable uh, Wilter Palma. Uh, actually, uh, Sambuaga Sibugay and uh, the Region 9 is one of our example for the LPE. That's why we will go there by, you know, by Thursday to really, to really you know, consolidate our gains there in Sambuaga Sibugay. In fact, uh, zero, ano, zero uh, influence barangay na po ang Sambuaga Sibugay. And also, uh, we would like to thank also uh, Sir Palma when I was the West Mingkong. Very cooperative po ang, uh, ano po ang ating uh, local governments. And also uh, looking at the, ano, the, the, uh, the welfare of our Moro brothers. That's why Kam Salman is, uh, became very peaceful during uh, his time as governor. And we would like to convey uh, our thanks to, to, ano, to Honorable uh, Wilter Palma. Maraming salamat po. Salamat also, sir. Thank you, Congressman Palma. Uh, Secretary Galvez, this is in connection with the question of Congresswoman Sakaluran regarding the de uh, decommissioning. So in the decommissioning process of almost 40,000 MILF combatants, MILF claims to possess 12,500 weapons only. Um, out of the 12,500, only around 7,000 were supposedly owned by the M MILF. Uh, you see, sir, I'm not an expert, but to me, it is rather preposterous to believe that these are the actual figures. My question is, can you enlighten us? Uh, what made you believe these figures? It's, to me, it's ridiculous. Madam Chair, uh, there is no such uh, agreement yet on the actual firearms that uh, uh, we will be decommissioned, considering that uh, that, uh, that, uh, that uh, area of uh, uh, finalizing the figure is still uh, under the, you know, the discussions of the panel. If you look at the, you know, if you look at the, you know, the, the figures also of the Kapatiran, uh, there are more or less 727 uh, uh, members, but. Uh, uh, Considerably, there is only two, 300, three, more or less 300 firearms that have been uh, uh, decommissioned. Meaning, uh, the, you know, the, the parity of, uh, the, parity of uh, the firearms and the uh, regular members, there is a, some sort of discrepancy of one is to two or one is to three. That's why we, have, we are now on the continuing, uh, continuing discussions. Uh, because uh, the, you know, the, uh, the, the, you know, the, the request of the Armed Forces of the Philippines is that uh, there will be one on one, uh, one mission combatant, one firearms, and the the, you know, the ongoing uh, discussion is still there, um, uh, Madam Chair. Uh, we will give you feedback uh, in case uh, we will have uh, the panel discussions uh, this coming days. Thank you, Secretary Galvez. Um, we would like to hear now from our guests, uh, the provincial governors. Let's start with uh, Lano del Sur, Governor Adyong. Uh, sir, you are recognized. Yes, Madam Chair, thank you very much. Audubillahim Shaitan Yurajim, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Meron po kami akong concern regarding sa CAM. Sa Lanao del Sur, kasi po kung tuloy-tuloy po yung pagtayo ng mga kampo, which is illegal, di ba po, sir? Illegal na, na, na dagdagan pa yung mga kampo sa bawat uh, bayan. Considering na 39 municipalities ang uh, Lanao del Sur and uh, uh, one city. Then kung lalagyan po natin ng kampo yan, yung 39, uh, ano na po ang mangyayari? Kasi wala na ang mga kapatid natin sa MILF nasa gobyerno na yan. Kaya uh, sino po ba ang Madam Chair ang uh, magbabawal na hindi na pwedeng patayuin. At meron na pong nakatayo ngayon, dapat po tanggalin na yung mga, uh, mga kampong yan. Meron po kaming isang uh, uh, municipality, uh, municipality of Bacolod, Kalawi, na uh, ongoing, yung, yung time na yun, uh, tinatayo yung kampo. Pero yung mismo, yung uh, municipal mayor, ang pumunta doon at pinag-iba yung uh, kampong yan. Kaya kung tuloy-tuloy nating hayaan na magtatayo ng mga kampo sa bawat bayan, lahat po ng mga LGUs na L LCs natin, makakalaban niya yung uh, ating mga kapatid na uh, MILF. Then, meron po kaming isang uh, uh, 
municipality, the only Christian municipality ng Lanao del Sur, municipality ng Wau. Uh, ilang beses na po ito sinabi sa leadership ng BARM na bakit sila pumapasok sa area ng uh, uh, municipality of Wau na hindi nagpapaalam. Meron ang sagot ang sagot sa kanila is allowed daw allowed allowed sila na magpatayo or uh, maglagay sila ng uh, uh, tao diyan. Kaya sana po uh, Madam Chair uh, kung meron pang tinatayo, ma-stop na po ito at kung meron nang naitayo, pwede po ba i-request na na tanggalin itong mga kampong ito. Ang iniiwasan po natin uh, uh, lalong magkagulo. Ang LCE at ang uh, uh, MILF dahil hindi nagkakaintindihan sa pagtayo ng mga kampong ito. Maraming salamat po. Thank you, Governor Adyong. Uh, Secretary Galvez. Sir, uh, we, will, uh, we will coordinate with uh, Governor Adyong pertaining this report. Uh, uh, sir, uh, 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 ano nito isa? Before, before sa pandemic, uh, inakyat ko na po sa opisina niyo ito. And, uh, sa opisina po ni uh, Chief, Mister, uh, Chief Minister yes, uh, uh, Murad. Ito problema ng ito, sir. Yes, sir. Actually, sir, the, you know, the, uh, the establishment of new camps is not allowed uh, based on our agreement. And with that, uh, we, will, uh, we will conduct uh, monitoring and inspection on the area. So we will task the CPCH uh, to, uh, to, to look on this. And uh, we're assured, uh, Governor, that uh, we will... Uh, yes, we sir. Will, uh, sana po maging, uh, maging seryoso po tayo sa pagtanggal ng ano. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, para hindi mag-escalate uh, yung mga problema sa bawat... Uh, provincia ng uh, uh, BARM. This is also true with the MNLF because uh, there we have also some reports that uh, the MNLF are expanding uh, their camps. It's not allowed. Uh, majority ng ano, majority ng ano po na ginagawa po natin is uh, when the LGU made a resolution and uh, it is uh, being uh, given to the CCH and also to the military, uh, normally sir, uh, they, they, they abide uh, with that resolution. Uh, we will do uh, our best na, no? uh, we will, no, we will, uh, Last, you know, the CCH. Considering na yung ating division commander po nun, uh, uh, Governor si uh, uh, General uh, Toto Naparete, he knows uh, the ano po. And uh, maybe we can, you know, we can also look at uh, the possibility that uh, we can, you know, I can uh, uh, ask and request uh, the AAP to look into this also. Yes, sir. Uh, magpapadala lang po kami ng letter uli sa inyo sa office nyo, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Thank you po. Thank you, Thank you Madam Chair. Thank you, Governor Adyong. Uh, Secretary Galvez, please furnish this August body a copy of the update uh, regarding uh, the uh, concern of Governor Adyong. Um, Congressman Solon, you are recognized. Yes, I'd just like to follow up what the uh, Governor said. Like uh, Governor Palma, we finished our term as Governor June 30, and uh, we've had to really uh, put more force into stopping these camps from coming up. No? So, sana hindi lang sa Lanao del Sur, uh, Secretary, but uh, sa Sarangani din. Uh, could you please, siguro, uh, the best thing to do is to make sure to talk to the organizations and say there really should be no camps coming up. No? Uh, at seryosohin. No? Kasi yung nangyayari po, uh, ginagawa ni sasabi nila ito kampo community center lang ito pero may mga armas sa loob so if they want to put up a community or a development community uh, there should be no firearms inside madam chair thank you thank you congressman solon um next i would like to recognize sulu governor abdu sakurtan sir you are recognized Thank you, Madam Chairman. At uh, sa mga honorable members of this committee as well as uh, our uh, resource persons, maraming maraming salamat. Uh, I was just intrigued by uh, the matter of the number of supposed combatants of the MILF numbering about uh, 40,000. And if I uh, got it right, that 
we do not have a list of the names of these 40 combatants, as well as, uh, made mention, as made mentioned by the uh, chairman, there are only 12,500 firearms as uh, uh, acknowledged by the Philippine government and uh, uh, in the hands of the MILF with only 7,000 firearms again owned by the MILF and 5,500 owned by private individuals. Now, out of this 40,000, I'm certain that uh, the uh, government will be providing funds as part of an incentive for their, uh, for this, uh, I mean, uh, the, the commissioning process. And we are only looking at something like 7,000 firearms. I really cannot imagine 40,000 combatants with only 12,000 500 firearms. Uh, Secretary Galvez, uh, sir, you made mention about uh, other terrorist groups like the communists that uh, some members do not also have firearms. These are not members in the case of uh, the MILF. These are combatants. When you say combatants, they go to war. I really do not, uh, cannot comprehend about going to war. You know, I have seen the war in the South. Even perhaps before Secretary Galvez became a soldier, I was already there. I already saw the war in the South when martial law was declared. And I was not a bystander. I was also a participant, except that perhaps we were on opposite sides. I was on government side. So, kaya alam ko, ang firearms ay sobra-sobra. During that time, one combatant would even carry two firearms. One grenade launcher and one long firearm. Meron pa dalang mga uh, bladed weapons. Ganon ang mga uh, ano natin ang mga combatants on the ground. Kaya, tingin ko, siguro dapat huwag tayo maglukuhan. Kasi pagod na kami. Pagod na kami sa lukuhan. Nasasabihin natin 40,000 combatants without any name. How are you going to provide the help or the assistance to these combatants if you do not even know them. Now, yan sana, Secretary Galvez, ang gusto namin ay pagtunan ng pansin. Three years after, three years, ilan na ba ang surrender na firearms o na turn in? 1,000, you started with 70. Out of the 70, more than 50% were partake. You <clears throat> turn in another 1,000. Most are partake again. Lulukuhin lamang natin ang sarili natin. Sundalo po kayo. Ang mga firearms na yan ay gagamitin against the sundalo. So, bakit naman natin yan? Papayagan yung mga ganyan. So, yan ang uh, uh, concern namin. Now, another is Yung, uh, you made mention about the codes that have not yet been passed. Three years, hindi pa na ipapasa ang local government code. Three years, hindi pa na ipapasa ang, uh, ang electoral code. So, ang, ano, ano, oh, maraming code. Anyway, siguro, si Secretary Garbe should focus more on the decommissioning because that is what is dangerous if you allow the enemy 
although they are now on our side. Oh, but you can never be certain if they will remain on our side or as our allies. Because we have been negotiating from one faction to the other. Nauna yung MNLF, tapos tag MILF. Ngayon meron na naman another faction, may BIFF. Kailan ba tayo matatapos nito? Now, you were telling us that you have already started. You made mention about the MNLF. Dapat MNLF nga ang dapat na una eh. Pero hanggang ngayon, you were in Sulu, or you, you sent somebody to Sulu. On June 22, before the assumption of President Bongbong Marcos to the presidency, oh, inaano ninyo, inaalok ninyo ng 45,000 ang bawat combatant ng MNLF of the Jikiri faction. Actually, that was supposed to be 1,000. But perhaps, bilang papogi, ay kailangan mayroong mga 100 magpapamabigyan ng 45,000 plus, I think, uh, livelihood of 55,000 for a total of 100,000. Eh, ang gusto, ang pangako natin doon ay 1,000. Kaya ayaw ng mga roon. Earlier, much, much earlier, you were telling me about 1.2 billion for the group of Normiswari. Also, this did not happen. That was two, three years ago. In fact, you were telling me, uh, may 50 million tayo pagawa natin yung daan doon. Even 5 centavos, wala pong dumating. So, yan po ang uh, ano. Ini, ito, uh, Secretary Galvez, mas mabuti na yung uh, prangkahan tayo kasi kami ang nahihirapan. Tama si Governor Congressman Palma. Doon sa mga balik barangay, kami po ang nagaano yan. Together, of course, this is supposed to be a whole of nation approach, but absent is the OPAP doon. In fact, uh, before I came, we had an ECLIP meeting of which I am chairman, attended by even by the uh, division commander. At ang uh, ginagamit pa pera ng ano, Tanong ko sa, tanong ko sa MD, MSW, sabi ko, ano naman ang contribution ninyo? Wala kami may contribute kasi nabigay na ron sa OPAP, binigay na ang OPAP, OPAP ang namigay. Can you imagine, sir, hihingin nyo pa ron sa this WD in the name of OPAP na para ron sa balik barangay kasi nagbalik barangay kami? Oh, all other agencies of government Namimig na nag-aano, nagko-contribute kami, DPWH, AFP, PNP, local government, NGO, lahat. So, yan. Now, <clears throat> sasabihin natin, again, we are able to bring the MILF, the MNLF, the Biswari Group, the Jekiri Group, there is only one. MLLF in Sulu. As I told you, uh, even before, in fact, I remember I sent you, I, 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 you, were, you received a copy from the son of the late Jikiri telling you that they are already under the uh, organization of Chairman Noor Miswari. Oh, so, but, sabi natin, nandyan na yung anak ni Chairman Noor correct. Pero ang tao roon ng MNLF doon sa Sulu, hindi na nila alam kung ano na ang mangyayari because Chairman Noor Miswari matagal nang hindi umuuwi. Pati yung mga anak na sinasabi ninyo na nandyan na members ay hindi na rin umuuwi. So, sana, uh, uh, Secretary Galvez, pagtutukan ninyo ng pansin ang ito nga di commissioning ito ay mahirap na imagine you allow them to retain firearms anong klase ng ano yan agreement yan oh they retain firearms there is even one uh, arrangement i think wherein uh, you will have a peacekeeping force to be constituted by 50% AFPNP AFPNP and then 50% MILF. No. 
This is, we only have one armed forces. So bakit natin yan pinapayagan yung mga ganyan? At the same time, uh, Secretary Galvez, tanong, ilan, na, ilan beses na ang sundalo nakapasok sa darapanan? Tingin ko, wala pang nakapasok sa darapanan. Would you know what is happening inside the darapanan na uh, uh, camp of the MILF? Ano kaya ang nangyayari doon? Hindi nga natin alam eh. We are in our own country. Is there any area in this country where government cannot set foot uh, like the Darapanan uh, camp? Oh. Yung uh, mga tinaturn in natin. Remember, uh, Secretary Galvez, when you were South Cove, West Mincom Commander, Pumunta si President Duterte. Pumunta si Secretary uh, Lorenzana. Nag-turn in ang LGU. More than 1,000 firearms. Not a single firearm was paltik. In fact, puro cruiser. Mahigit 10 caliber 50. Mahigit 10 ang mortar. Ilan ang uh, 90RR? Uh, more than 1,000 nakita ninyo. In fact, you were telling me that made you chief of staff because of that turning of uh, more than 1,000 firearms na yun ang sinasabi ninyo. Na ngayon, itong makikinabang sa ating pamahalaan na nakikinabang ngayon, hindi ba pwede kunin natin ang pangalan nila? Paano, na, paano tayo magbibigay ng ayuda sa kanila ng tulong na hindi man lang natin uh, alam. Hindi natin kilala. But, you know, it's mind-boggling. In fact, they claim that you have uh, uh, promised to give them 1 million pesos each. So, pag 1 million, ilang billion yan, yung 40,000. Then how many farms are we going to collect? Ang delikado dyan tinatago nila so much funds 80 billion ang ano ang uh, black grant ang black grant ba na 80 billion nagagamit ba yan hindi yan nagagamit every year oh they can only implement so much even the national government will have a hard time implementing with so much funds so dapat tinitingnan natin ano ang nangyayari sa mga pera na yan Baka naman, ibang napupuntahan. You know, di, may mga ma, ma, ano, ma, 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 very fertile uh, imagination. Lagi ko sinasabi, even during the time of uh, President Duterte, Sir, hindi ninyo kaya naisip na pag lumaki ito, na hindi natin niya na, na, ano, na temper ang mga ano na yan, hindi kaya pwede magkaroon ng uh, spillover ang gulo dito sa mainland considering that the headquarters of the MILF share, oh, share, they share the same boundary with North Cotabato, with South Cotabato, with Sarangani, with Jensan, and even Davao. Oh, unlike the island provinces, we are separated by water. So, yan ang ipinapaano natin. We are thinking aloud. Oh, we are not thinking na ngayon lamang. Yan ang sinasabi namin. Kasi, uh, with your respect, uh, Secretary Galvez, ano ba naman para sa inyo? Pagkatapos yan, kayo uuwi na sa inyo. Kami na ang maiwan doon sa Sulu. Oh. So, yan pa rin. So, uh, Yung sa akin na Secretary Garbis hindi kwento kasi during the time of Ferdinand Marcos, yung tatay ni Bongbong Mar, President Bongbong, nandoon na ako eh. Kita ko, ang gera talaga. Oh, it was a very cruel war. A very, very good. We had a president like Ferdinand Marcos where his policy was a policy of attraction when he told us, I might as well spend money of government 
to help people than spend money of government to buy bullets and kill Filipinos. So yun ang sinasabi palagi ni, uh, ni President Marcos din. Kaya yun ang pasasalamat namin uh, doon. Kaya sana pagtuunan ninyo ng pansin. Very disturbing itong 40,000 na sinasabi natin pagkatapos ilan lang ang i-turn in, paltik pa. Ah, sana magkaroon tayo ng ano, executive session about this and maybe we can tell you some more on what they are doing with the funds and what they are doing on the ground. That is why pumunta ko kay Secretary Faustino, uh, Sir, pumunta ko sa inyo one night. Ang sabi ko, alam ninyo kami politiko that we feel also threatened. Oo. Pagka ganito ang nangyayari, kami, we will have to arm ourselves. We are ready also to go to war. Kung, uh, kung survival din namin yan eh. Kaya, hanggang hindi natin yan na ano, kami natitreten at saka natitreten ang komunidad, walang very temporary ang peace natin ngayon. Habang may pera, baka may peace pa yan. But ang masama, yung pera pag napunta yan sa iba. Paano na pag ginamit yan, pagbili ng armas? So, remember, uh, Secretary Galvez, you were offering us 20 million pesos for the Balik Baril Program. So, pero hindi ko yan kinuha. Hindi ko, kasi gusto niya ipakuha ko. Kukunin ko pa roon sa opisina ninyo. Sabi ko may bank account kami, bakit hindi nyo pa ipadala? Gobyerno rin naman kami. So, and, ang sabi ko, hindi ako pabul dyan eh. Kasi panahon pa ni President Ramos, ang balik baril. Kasi, ang balik baril, isosurrender ko ang luma, yung garan, yung carbine, World War II uh, firearms yan. Babayaran ninyo ng 30-40,000. So, makasurrender ako ng tatlo, makabili na ako ng isang Armalite maganda. So, in the process, sabi ko, you are actually modernizing the armaments of the enemy. So, yan ang sinasabi ko. So, huwag tayo magtaka kung bakit na, ano, yung ating mga kasundaluhan. You know? Yan ang naiisip, naiisip ko. So, I remember, the late uh, President uh, Mark Ramos, when he he asked me during the, the presidency of President Gloria. Sabi niya, who do you think is the best president of the Philippines? Sabi ko kayo. Sabi niya, why? You tell me why. Kasi, when you won the elections, you reach out to the political opposition. Imelda, Mitra, Danding Kuwangko, except sabi niya, Miriam Ayaw. Oh. You reach out to the rebel soldiers. You reach out to the NDF. You reach out to the MNLF. And above all, ang tingin sa inyo ng tao, kayo ay a man of war as a soldier, but nagkamali ang tao kasi ang policy ninyo ay hindi uh, uh, all out war. Ang policy ninyo ay peace. Ang sabi niya sa akin, you know, uh, Sakur, kaya ganun ang policy ko because I am a soldier and I know what soldier is all about. I do not want to see orphans and widows of my soldiers because they can get killed in the battlefield. Maraming salamat, Mr. Ch Madam Chairman. Thank you, Governor Tad. Uh, Secretary Galvez. Madam Pertaining. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, regarding the codes, uh, the codes that weren't passed, I would like our resource person from BARM to answer it. And also, uh, the issue regarding the block grant, uh, bar representatives, please answer that. Uh, for now, uh, let's hear from Secretary Galvez first. Madam, uh, Madam Chair, uh, uh, I would like to answer the, you know, the, the 40,000 combatants. Actually, that's the, you know, the agreement that we had uh, during uh, uh, the previous government, uh, during the negotiations with uh, uh, President Aquino, which we, you know, we, we followed through. But uh, we have, you know, we have some, you know, some issues raised also already with the, with the, um, with the MILF, considering that uh, it was raised also by, by uh, Kali, uh, Congressman Kalidot Puro pertaining yung the, the parity of firearms and combatants. That's why 
during our our no, our security justice and peace cluster meeting uh, we have agreed that uh, we have to push for one is to one that's why one, one, meaning one combatant one firearms so that's uh, the reason why that uh, the panel now is uh, pushing for that considering that uh, the request of the MILF for 40,000 as against to 7,000 firearms is really you know, uh, for us also and for the armed forces is unacceptable. That's why uh, we, you know, we are pushing for, you know, for the increase of the firearms commensurate with the competence that we will be giving uh, the you know, the, uh, we will be giving the uh, necessary socioeconomic uh, package. Uh, the, you know, the package of one million has been clarified by combatant because uh, we told them that uh, no government, no international government has given that, uh, that uh, luxury of giving one million uh, per combatant. In fact, uh, the, you know, the ratio of the different you know, socioeconomic projects that uh, most of countries, they only gave uh, 100,000 to 150,000. Uh, the computations that we had before uh, during um, our meeting with the uh, GNC, uh, we, we computed it uh, on the, you know, on the uh, black grant that they have been given to you know, to, to the uh, MILF or to the BARM government, wherein if you will uh, compute it uh, pro rata, uh, in a, over 10 years' time, you might have uh, socioeconomic programs, housing, uh, education, etc., etc., and other uh, services. It might be uh, more than one million. If we will, you know, we will uh, seriously uh, make uh, use of the black grant for the, for the, solely for the combatant. But uh, we know that uh, the, you know, the, you know, the background is not only being used for the company, but for social services of all the communities of uh, the farm. That's why uh, the, you know, the, the, the issue uh, still uh, uh, been lingering to the, you know, because uh, the, you know, the, the panel uh, issued that, uh, the commitment that we don't have any sign agreement with, with them. That's why we are clarifying that uh, one million per combatant is not true. It is some sort of a, uh, some, some sort of assumption that if we will, you know, if we will uh, allocate uh, some portion of that on the black grant, it might, you know, it might be construed, construed that uh, it's more than more than uh, one million. So that issue has been, you know, been uh, already been uh, resolved uh, with the chief minister that uh, uh, we cannot, you know, we cannot uh, provide that, you know, that uh, amount on the national government because. The money uh, for the peace process has already been given to, to the BARM uh, with uh, more or less uh, 60 to 70 billion uh, a year. So that has been clarified already. Pertaining you know, yung sa 50 million uh, budget for the MNLF, uh, sorry to say, uh, uh, go. Uh, supposed to be we have uh, more or less 395 million on our net uh, this year, but it was, uh, no, it was transferred to, uh, no, to Maspate for a known reason that uh, it was transferred to Maspate. So that's why you know, the program for, you know, for the 50 million you know, uh, project for, for, you know, for the road project for the MNLF was, uh, no, was uh, removed because uh, 395 million for the OPAP has been, you know, has been transferred to, you know, to other Pamana project. So that's the reason why we were not able to, you know, to, to implement it. But uh, I have already talked to, uh, uh, to Minister Guerra that uh, they will allocate uh, a portion of their you know, budget to, uh, to allocate that, uh, that, uh, that road going to uh, uh, Camp Astana. And for other, you know, other, you know, other uh, 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 issues that have been raised by the Honorable uh, Sakurtan, I will make a report, uh, uh, Madam Chairman, so that uh, uh, the, you know, the proceedings will not be you know, And uh, I will allow the, you know, the BARM, uh, the BARM uh, government to answer the other question. Uh, th thank you, Secretary Galvez. Uh, Governor Tan. Madam Chairman, Sarah, Secretary Gardez, mabigyan nyo kami ng listahan. Hindi, ma, hindi, ah. hindi, hindi, hindi makain ng utak po yung ano eh, na magbabayad ng gobyerno, magbibigyan ng gobyerno sir. sa kombatant na walang pangalan eh. Actually, sir, that's a misconception. Uh, ang lahat ng sir, ang lahat ng kombatant, binibigyan ng ID yan, sir. It was being, uh, being, ano, being uh, verified and validated by the IBD. Ang hindi lang allowed sa amin, sir, is yung listahan mismo uh, will be made it public because uh, the arrangement is that uh, the list will be, you know, will be handled by, you know, by the panels and also by the, you know, by the IDD. So, ang ano, sir, noon, ang uh, lahat ng binibigyan, sir, natin, may kanya-kanyang ID po yan, sir. Actually, may, uh, ano yan, sir, uh, uh, digital ang, ano, ang ano ng mga IDs. At talagang meron pong binibirified uh, both by the IDD, different countries, 
represented and by the CCCH, uh, including the armed forces. Nandun po sana sa ating commissioning na yung lahat ng tao na binibigyan po, talagang binibigyan po ng, ano, ng, ng DSW, parang four-piece height po yun, na nandun po lahat. At uh, naka-indicate naka naka po doon kung ano po yung mga benefits na naibigyan uh, na, na sa kanya. Yun po ay binibigay po ng uh, DSWD. Yung money ng, ano, uh, that uh, had been launched to OPAP has been transferred to DSWD for the purpose of the cash transfer. Ang uh, hinihingi ko sana, Secretary Galvez, sana magkaroon ng uh, roster. Oh, pagkatapos with corresponding firearms. Yes, sir. That, that, Kung anong firearms sila with serial number. Yes, sir. Ganun sir, ganun sir namin, sir. Actually, sir, yung answer natin, we are asking the IDP and also the MILF to provide us the, you know, the, the listing of the roosters. And it will be, uh, it will be verified by the, ano, by the IDP. So yung IDP po ang uh, nag-verify ng, uh, lahat, ng ano, ng lahat ng pangapangalan and also with the, ano, with the including, including po yun. Ano, yung, ano ba yung IDP? Uh, in the independent decommissioning body, which is consists of Turkey, uh, Brunei, uh, also uh, Japan, and also uh, from, uh, from our, no? from our uh, representative from, from the Ito ba yung mga military from uh, Malaysia? Uh, yes, sir. Kasama, yung, yung Malaysia, sir, is the INT. Uh, hindi po sa kasama. But, that has already been terminated. Uh, hindi po po. Bali po po, uh, inano po natin na non-military. Ang ano po natin is yung IDP is separate. It is composed of uh, Turkish government, uh, the Brunei government, and also uh, the Japanese government, and also part, partly yung ating... Uh, uh, CCCH are helping uh, the IDP. Meron po tayong uh, government uh, uh, government uh, composition po sa IDP. Si Gerardo po is a member of the IDP. Gerardo is the member of the, uh, the IDP. Former West, West, West Minkoff Commander. Uh, Madam Chairman, paano naman yung Ilang beses na po kayo nakapasok with the troops doon sa Kwan, Darapanan? Sir, uh, madalas po kami pumunta sa Darapanan. Ang okay. ipak, uh, yung ano, yung even uh, some of our commanders, uh, field commanders and uh, division commanders are also really going there. Uh, nakita naman natin, sir, yung sa, ano, sa Darapanan. Uh, karamihan ka, sir, ng, ano, ng mga international communities are also frequenting the, ano, the, the, ano, the camp. And uh, Darapanan is part of the camp that uh, we are, uh, the camp that uh, we will be uh, some sort of transforming from military camp to a uh, civilian uh, progressive community. So, so impact, uh, actually, sir, ako, I, I, I stay there even during night time. Uh, Madam Chair, uh, I apolog apologies, apologies po to my dalawang bosses to interject. Sir Chair, may ask our resource persons to uh, address the chair when asking a question and to address the chair again when responding. With due respect po to my boss. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Honorable Ladyong. Uh, Madam Chairman, I am just uh, concerned about uh, the matter of uh, seeking clearances from the MILF before uh, government uh, entities, government troops uh, could enter areas of the uh, MILF. This is governed by uh, the 1997 uh, ceasefire agreement. Uh, the, you know, the, uh, I mean, Madam, Madam Chair, Madam Chair, uh, with your permission, uh, honors, I'm sorry. Uh, can I, you know, can I? Uh, sir, you know, the, uh, the camp, uh, the visiting of the camp is uh, being governed by the 1997 uh, uh, ceasefire agreement. As of this moment, uh, we are, no, we are, uh, having uh, some sort of uh, uh, coordination pertaining uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the visitation of uh, the camp. So, uh, if we visit uh, Camp Bilal, uh, the other camp, six uh, uh, recognized camps, uh, we need uh, some coordination. That's uh, all, Mr. Chair, Ma Madam Chair. My uh, Madam Chair, so in which case, we, we still adhere to the agreement of 19, 1997. That was peace agreement? That is the ceasefire you know, agreement. Ceasefire agreement, but there is already a peace agreement. No longer a ceasefire agreement. So in which case, I would think that it is only but proper for uh, our uh, 
uh, forces, the armed forces of the Philippines, uh, to not really seek clearance, but perhaps uh, just inform them that uh, the uh, armed forces is uh, entering the area, Madam Chair. Uh, Madam Chair, can I? Uh, Sir Adriano, the, you know, the, the, it's not a clearance. It's a more on coordination. Normally, uh, the CCCH is the one coordinating the, the movement, so that uh, we can have, uh, we can, uh, we can prevent any misencounter or misconception that uh, there is, you know, there is uh, some sort of intrusion of the, you know, the certain certain areas. Uh, there are many, you know, there are many instances, uh, uh, Madam Chair, that if there is no coordination. There may, may be a, some some sort of missing counter, considering that uh, the, you know, the other side may, might construe that uh, uh, the armed group might not be you know, uh, might, might be there. Uh, alam naman natin, madam, na there are a lot of riddles in the area. Uh, medyo hindi natin, hindi, sometimes hindi nila alam kung sino yung pumapasok. And uh, considering also that uh, with this existence of uh, some riddles, there is a need for, you know, for some sort of a coordination in order to prevent uh, unnecessary uh, misencounter or some sort of unnecessary loss of lives in case there is an there is an encounter because of non non coordination uh, thank you governor tan thank you secretary galvez um, secretary galvez just in connection with governor tan's interpolation um, can we come up with some sort of an agreement uh, before that, uh, regarding the uh, roster, can you furnish the governors that roster, a copy of that roster? So they can, uh, so they can check the surrenderies and then the firearms, because you see, uh, with all due respect, um, no one knows our constituents better than our LGU, especially the governors. So uh, perhaps we can give them a chance to check uh, the roster, kumbaga check and balance between the LGU and uh, the OPAP. Uh, would that be possible, Secretary Galvez? Ma Madam Chair, uh, we will ask uh, the IDB if it is possible. Because uh, the, you know, the, you know, the, uh, the constitution of the, you know, the agreement is that uh, the IDB will be the sole repository of those, you know, those uh, uh, records pertaining the confidentiality of the, the combatants. But uh, we will ask uh, the IDB if uh, they can do that. Yes, uh, please allow our governors to check what's in the roster. And uh, also regarding the firearms, yung mga sinusurrender na firearms, possibly po kaya na bigyan muna natin ng chance yung LGU natin, specifically the governors, to check kung mga paltik ba yung sinusurrender na firearms. Because I remember nung dati naman na uh, Nung time ni President Duterte na nag-surrender ang iba't ibang probinsya ng firearms, nandun naman yung mga LGU and chinecheck nila yung uh, firearms kung hindi naman paltik yung sinusurrender. Pwede bang gawin din natin yon dito, Mr. Uh, Secretary Galvez? Madam Chairman, uh, we, will, uh, we will convey to the IDB because uh, the IDB are the one uh, checking you know, the, the, service, the serviceability of the firearms. Uh, we will uh, convey uh, the, uh, the request of the governor. Yes, the, the uh, please update this August body about uh, those issues, Secretary. Thank you. Yes, yes, Madam. Um, yes, Madam Governor Chair, Tan. Alam nyo, pag lahat hindi pwede, lahat hindi pwede, walang mangyayari dito sa, with due respect, uh, Madam Chairman, walang mangyayari dito sa pag- uh, meeting-meeting natin dito. Oh, kasi ang concern namin dito is the commissioning. I'm more concerned about the commissioning. Now, kung all, always, uh, we have to consult this, we have to consult that, uh, maybe that will not uh, be allowed because like this and like that, who would know better than us? You know? If anybody tells us they know my people better than I do, I would feel insulted. I should know my people far better than anyone. Now, sa harap ni President Duterte, sinabi ko sa inyo, kasi hindi kayo pumunta roon sa Sulu, kaya hindi ninyo alam. Mr. Ch Madam Chairman, sinabi ko yan sa kanya. Oh. So, kaya, kailangan sabihin na natin. Kasi, alam mo, it is so, uh, parang, Nakaka-dismaya 
na yung always we cannot because this is a uh, in confidence this is only for the IDB this is only for this it's only for that there should be transparency in this we are part of your government of this government we have the right to know we are the alter ego of the president on the ground we are the chief executive oh dapat alam namin madam chairman so kailangan yan ang uh, anuhin natin uh, madam chairman so otherwise uh, with your respect Walang mangyayari sa pagpunta namin dito. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Thank you, Governor Tan. Uh, Secretary Galvez. Uh, Madam Chair, uh, uh, thank you very much, uh, Governor Tan, on your concerns. That's also our concern pertaining to you know, the, the Commission. And we will convey uh, to, the, you know, to the panel and also. And uh, hopefully, makakansan, uh, it will be favorably considered that uh, the LGU will be part of the, uh, the, the commissioning yes. uh, with, the, uh, with the ID. Can you kindly, con uh, Madam Chairman, can you kindly uh, convey to that IDB yes. that we be made a part of that because we know better than the IDB. Yes, sir. I'm very certain about that. You bring in foreigners to talk about our situation. Would they know any better than us? No way. In fact, the presence of foreign military military officers from Malaysia, from Indonesia, moving around the Philippine military camp. Can you go to Malaysia? Can the military go to Malaysia and move around the camp? I was telling the West Ming Kong commander, why do you allow this? You are in a, you, you, we are, this, this is our country. These are foreign. These are from the intelligence group of this uh, one. And they are spying on us. So, why are we allowing this? Yun ang sinasabi ko, kasi ayoko yung, Madam Chairman, ayoko yung parang naglulupan nila. Nahilo na ako sa lupuhan eh. So, thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Governor Tan. Uh, Secretary Galvez. We will know. We will uh, make a necessary representation. Um, may I now call on the representatives for, uh, from BARM to address the issues regarding the unfinished codes and block grant. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, alaikum. Magandang hapon po. Uh, to all the members of the committee as well as the other resource persons. Uh, Madam Chair, I'm Raisa Jajuri. I'm a member of the Parliament. And uh, with respect to the codes that are mandated to be enacted during the transition period, uh, three of these uh, priority codes have been passed by the Parliament. And these are the Administrative Code, the Civil Service Code, and also the Education Code. Uh, these, as well as, I think, 29 other laws were passed by the Parliament during the three-year uh, transition. And uh, as you would know, we asked for the extension so that we will be able to enact the other codes. Uh, one of the other codes, which is the uh, local, governa local governance code, has been filed and has, in fact, been... Uh, subjected to some public hearings. Uh, one other code will be filed uh, within the year and hopefully soon, and this will be the electoral code. Uh, the other code, the revenue code, uh, will also be filed, but um, it had to undergo s some discussions with the national government regarding uh, certain taxes, you know, uh, the taxing powers of the Bank Samoro government in relation to uh, BIR. So the discussion has uh, has finished or has been completed and uh, the code will be drafted and submitted to the parliament. So we have to understand, Madam Chair, that uh, most of the 80 members of the parliament are new to legislation and we were also faced with the pandemic for uh, more than a year uh, of almost total lockdown. Uh, still, we um, try to do the job that has been um, given to us. And as I mentioned earlier, 31 laws 
uh, were passed and so many other resolutions. But we undertake to complete the enactment of the other codes, Madam Chair. I think two of them are prioritized for this year. Uh, and that would be the local governance as well as the electoral code, Madam Chair. Madam Chair, may I be recognized.